The sun continues to have poor aim this week. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, you can see there aren't a lot of active regions in Earth view, but there sure are a lot of filaments. You can tell they look like little worm structures on the face of the sun, and this means that the potential for solar storm launches is very high. In fact, back on the 7th, near region 3111, we had a solar storm launch that went west of Earth. It's actually giving us a glancing passage to the west of Earth now. And then if we fast forward to uh, the 8th and then the 9th and 10th, right around in that region down in the south, you can see several solar storm launches from a filament uh, region. And this is giving uh, a set of solar storms that are launching that are going to the east of Earth and are going to give us a glancing blow in and around the 14th. And then as we begin to move into the 11th, you can see region 3112 really begins to light up and fire off some big M-class flares. And this gave us a little bit of radio blackouts, reasonably short radio blackouts, but it also launched yet another solar storm. And this solar storm looks like it's going to give us another glancing blow right around the 15th. So we're going to be expecting a little bit of disturbance here and there to the east, to the west of us. But it seems as if Earth is dodging bullets. And that's going to continue to be the story. Luckily, it doesn't look like there's too many other active regions that are being big flare players. So radio blackouts are definitely going to be calming down here over the next week. Now, as we take a look at our far-sighted sun, this is Stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a a little bit from the side. You can see region 3112 as it begins to rotate off of the west limb in stereo's view. And you can also see down in the south, the filament launches that were kind of like one, two kind of punches that are going to be actually launched to the east of Earth. Those are still coming. But look behind it. Look at the east limb in stereo's view. You see those bright regions? Well, these are active regions that are going to be returning into Earth view. It doesn't look like they're going to be big flare players. So it does look like the radio blackout risk is going to be decreasing easily over this next week, but luckily it means solar flux will remain high, and that means good radio propagation on Earth's day side. For more details on this week's space weather, including how those glancing solar storms and the radio blackouts might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.